Hey, what's going on? YouTube model builders, YouTube people out there in YouTube land, Facebook, Google Plus, wherever you may be. Hey, it's Ocus. Um, I was just coming in to stop in and give you guys a layout update. I actually have some good news. We are running trains. As you can see in the beginning of that the video here, um, we actually got a layout going now and everything's up and operational. We have a good loop going around with two sidings. So give me just a second here and uh, we'll be going around and showing you what there is new on the layout and also what the plan is for the future. All right guys, so what we're gonna start to at is right here at the beginning of the layout. So this here is the front of the layout. As you can see, um, this is where the long stretch goes. Over here is where the uh, cement plant will be going. Then wrapping around here, there's a uh, backdrop piece that is missing there, still needs to be cut. Over here to where the power plant would be, right around where that drill is sitting. So as you can see, we have track that is laid all the way around. That runs into a siding here. I've already laid the switch that will go back into the coal plant. Along with the switch that will go up into the cement plant. That way I don't have to uh, cut pieces out again and relay that. And the siding is complete all the way down. Now I'm still needing to fill those gaps that you see there with uh, extra ties. But that's to come here in the future. Uh, for right now, what I plan to do is, is uh, continue laying track in here. Uh, but probably build the buildings first. See how they're going to fit in there and then see what best fits the uh, track plan. So we'll go from there and then we'll uh, wrap ourselves around. What you're probably seeing here is uh, my keyboard that I have now. I have a Bluetooth keyboard that hooks up to uh, my uh, laptop. And I'll show you guys my workstation here in just a second on uh, how we're doing things on the bench. Alright guys, we're over here on the other side of the layout. Where you can see that we start walking around to the other area. Um, back into the, the uh, next scene. So you'll see the uh, four or five there pulling some uh, ballast cars, a few coal hoppers and a box car there uh, running just as smooth as glass. So uh, we go back around here and loop in and you'll see where the aggregate plant is going to be located. I'm still waiting to lay the track in this area. However, we have the loop built now. So while we enjoy the scenery of trains running around, we can work on laying this track here. As you can see there, I've already spotted a few turnouts and uh, the plans for coming back into this area. I plan to possibly put a turnout there and then do a uh, scrap yard up in this area here back before you get into the actual aggregate plant. That's still one of my decisions I really haven't made yet, but we'll see where we go from there. So if you have any ideas on how you think that, that should play out, please let me know. Um, if we roll over here, you'll see that we have the second siding off of the main line. Um, back up in this area here is still undetermined on what I plan to do. Now I have thought about doing a yard back here in the back and then this being kind of a staging yard where I could switch out cars and uh, kind of play with things. Maybe put an engine house over there on the end and then this be my staging yard vice building a separate section that would go around here where you kind of see all these boxes and stuff going for a staging yard. However, if I did all that, um, I don't know if I have enough time here at this house as to do such a thing. So I don't want to get too far involved in that when I could actually work on this layout. So there's a good chance there might be a ladder rolling up into here into a yard to do the uh, switching and stuff for the Aberdeen and Rockfish. Um, if you have any ideas on that, please let me know and we'll see what we can do. Now, while I'm sitting here, you'll see that we have the backdrop that we have been working on. Um, I still need to finish it off, as you can see, like I said, right here, and then on this side. So um, the masonite board is ready. All I need to do is uh, make the markings on it and cut it, as you can see the piece that is sitting right there. Um, I watched a video from Miles um, that he put up that said don't use masonite due to the fact of the joints and stuff are hard to uh, seam together. I thought about it and I said, you know, Miles, that makes perfect sense to use the Luon. Um, however, this layout has got to be portable. So the break in my joints for my backdrop is going to have to stay. I can't fill it in with putty anyway. So I might as well use the materials that I already have and save the money. So I'm going to use the, um, the Masonite for now. And uh, hopefully it works good. If um, anyone can see that this curve here could be a problem later on down the road, please let me know because eventually this will have to come off 
uh, for the for the layout to be moved. Now, I could leave it on there and then just encase it with the layout. Um, that's always an option. But my plan is is to keep the buildings about six inches below this and make it to where I can box them up. How and then where these poles are actually get poles shorter than that that go in their place so that I can just put a protective cover over the layout when it's time to move. So if anybody has any ideas or what you think on that, just let me know and we'll go from there. And uh, if you aren't already tracking, look at there, 405, she's coming on nice and smooth down the tracks. But anyway, if you're not tracking, um, this is a modular layout. Here's a split here. This is a four foot by eight foot section approximately on this section right over here. And then this here is about 52 inches by four feet out that way. Then you'll see that we have another four foot by eight foot section going here. So if anyone was curious on that. All right, one second, we'll show you the uh, bench that I have. So. All right, folks, here we go. This is a new bench. Well, it's kind of the same bench, but it's got some additions to it. So I'm able to bring my laptop out here now. Um, we got rid of our direct TV and we're going straight to uh, internet and using Apple TV in the living room. And then since I didn't really have anything to show television up in the bedroom anymore, I brought my TV down here and now I'm using it to play YouTube videos on here. As you can see, uh, this is uh, my YouTube channel that I have up here. So if you aren't subscribed already, you should check me out at um, Ocus Norton on YouTube and then uh, subscribe to my channel and then follow me on there and then also you can see the laptop sitting here on Nice and Beautiful with the Aberdeen and Rockfish Facebook page. So if you're not subscribed to that or liked it, if you uh, would be so kindly and like it, it would uh, give you any kind of updates we have to the layout. So um, the plan right now is, as I told you, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start making our adjustments over here on this portion. Start building up the um, different areas, laying some track in there, seeing how things will fit. And... Uh, seeing what we can do with uh, the buildings and things. The other thing that I will be working on as well is running the main bus wire. So right now, there's only one wire that is powering this layout, which you can see right here, these two wires here, running down to a DC power pack. That DC power pack is pretty much all I'm planning on running right now due to the fact that um, I, I don't really have that many locomotives there DCC and I want to get my bus wires ran so I know I'm going to have good clean running when I actually do the DCC. So this weekend I plan on running the bus wires. I've actually got feeders. I plan on dropping a feeder at every section that um, it um, has a rail joiner on it. So if there's a rail joiner there it will get wire feeders except for where I have pieces like this one here that go across and are my areas that uh, I will have to take out when it comes time to move the layout. So um, that's what we're planning on doing. Um, looks like we got a lot of work ahead of us still, but we're able to run trains and it is really exciting. The kids love it, I love it, wife loves it because I'm finally running them and it's awesome. All right guys, that's going to conclude this video. I just wanted to do one more thing before I let you guys go. I wanted to thank my good buddy Bill for uh, these amazing shirts that he made. Bill, freaking fantastic job, buddy. I uh, got these shirts in to a lot of guys out there in the YouTube model builder community and uh, wearing those in the, supporting the hobby and supporting the uh, YouTube model builders page. If you haven't been already, go to YouTube, YouTube modelbuilders.com and enjoy that website. We have some uh, Google Hangouts that go uh, twice a week. We have live shows that are posted on there. There's all kinds of good stuff. So uh, go and visit it and then make sure you subscribe to my channel and the other channels that are posted on there. And uh, enjoy the rest of your night and we'll talk to you later.